round up where you will find the top stories in the data and analytics ecosystem in India. So let's get started. Collaborations Pharmaceutical recently published computational machine learning models for toxicity prediction in different areas. The company explored how AI could be used to design toxic molecules and it evolved into a computational proof for concept for making biochemical weapons. They tweaked their AI model for drug discovery to look for biochemical weapons. The machine learning algorithm found 40,000 options in just 6 hours. Now these new molecules were predicted to be more toxic based on the predicted LD50 values than publicly known chemical warfare agents. Now interestingly the data set used for the training, the AI did not include these known agents. Alphabet Sandbox AQ has been spun off into an independent company. The move came after the quantum tech startup closed a nine-figure financing round and appointed former Google CEO Eric Smith as chairman. Sandbox AQ is an enterprise SaaS platform and is solving previously unsolvable problems by harnessing the exponential power of AI combined with quantum. Now, the company plans to develop commercial products for telecom financing services, healthcare, security, and other computationally intensive sectors. The company also announced a list of clientele such as Vodafone Business, SoftBank Mobile, WIX Mount, Signal Health System, and the US federal government. Google has unveiled a Cloud Contact Center AI platform, an expansion to Contact Center AI. The new Cloud Contact Center AI platform brings together the advantages of AI, cloud scalability, multiple experience capabilities, and tight integration with customer relationship management platforms to unify sales, marketing, and support teams around data across the customer journey. It has been built for customer relationship management, enriching personalized customer experience across your brand, whether delivered through a virtual agent, a human agent, or a combination of both. Researchers from MIT have developed a model-free reinforcement learning system while working on fast-paced strides of a robotic mini cheetah. Now, the cheetah has broken the record for the fastest run recorded ever. Mini Cheetah achieved a top speed of 3.9 milliseconds quicker than the average human. Leveraging the simulation tools, the robot can accure 100 days worth of experience on a wide range of terrains in just 3 hours. The robot's behavior improves from stimulated experiences. India Archives, a dedicated server to upload preprints of research, was relaunched on 24th Feb 2022. Now, preprints are research papers that have not yet undergone a peer review. Global preprint servers such as Archive and BioArchive play a huge role in publishing the frontiers of scientific knowledge. Now, Indian researchers can archive and distribute their first drafts of articles to receive early feedback from peers and improve them before submitting them to journals. Israeli AI startup Datagen has announced it has raised $50 million in Series B funding round, bringing the company's total funding to $70 million. Now, the company established in 2018 developed a data stimulator that accelerates the construction of artificial intelligence models. The funds raised should allow Datagen to accelerate the employee recruitment rate and double its workforce, which currently numbers 85 employees in its offices in Tel Aviv and New York. Zomato has said next month it will begin delivering food in 10 minutes in its home city of Gurukram in what appears to be a first by any food delivery firm across the globe. The company is calling this new service Zomato Instant. Zomato insists that it won't pressurize or penalize its delivery partners to ensure delivery in 10 minutes. In fact, the publicly listed company says its delivery partners won't actually know that those deliveries are supposed to be shipped in 10 minutes. Somato would depend on Tense Finishing Station's network, which is located in close proximity to high demand customer neighborhoods. It will use sophisticated dish level demand prediction algorithms and future ready in station robotics to ensure that your food is sterile, fresh, and hot at the time of delivery. Stephen Wilhite, the brains behind the graphics interchange format or GIF, passed away on March 14th, days after his 74th birthday. 
Stephen, one of AOL's primary architects, died due to COVID-19 related issues. Stephen came up with GIFs in 1987 while working at CompuServe. GIF rose to popularity and became the prominent mode of expression and mematic communication on a bunch of social media platforms. That's all for today. Keep watching this space for more updates. Thank you.